the first concept for um, today is going to be arbitrage now arbitrage is something that i had discussed uh, in one of the previous classes also but um, let's let's discuss this once again so let's say that um, you know let's say that euro sells in new york at the rate of dollar 1.1 per euro suppose this is the exchange rate in new york and suppose the exchange rate in london is dollar 1.2 per euro now in this case an individual can buy from you uh, new york and he can go ahead and sell in london and make a profit of 0.1 dollar per euro now this thing where you can where there is a scope of buying a currency at a lower rate and selling it at a higher rate that is called arbitrage usually markets function in a way such that they remove the possibility of arbitrage now how does that takes place so let's say that you know because the currency is available comparatively cheaper in new york a person goes and buys from new york sells in london now what happens in new york let's talk about the london market first what happens in london is that this was the demand this was the supply i had a particular exchange rate and this was the quantity of the uh the dollars or the quantity of the foreign exchange now because people are buying from london uh, from new york and selling in london the supply of currency in london will increase once the supply of currency starts increasing you will say that exchange rate has started decreasing so if you know initially it was 1.2 now exchange rate will keep on going down till it reaches 1.1 and the moment in london market it reaches 1.1 the profit that was possible because of this arbitrage situation will be gone so arbitrage in any case is always a short term phenomena because as people keep on claiming profits through arbitrage they keep on buying at a lower uh, exchange rate and selling at a higher exchange rate they keep on increasing the supply in the other place increasing the supply decreases the exchange rate which means that the exchange rate starts appreciating there and then the market reaches its equilibrium